I'm Matt McClendon, president of DSG, and in my job I get to spend a lot of time with senior sales and marketing leaders. And one of the topics they always want to talk about is executive selling, executive conversations, and a frustration that their teams are not leading these executive conversations. Salespeople can get the meeting. And it's not a question of access, it's not a question of can they get an executive audience, it's the fact that they're not pursuing that discussion. And executives are shocked that they can actually get the meeting, but they're choosing not to. And, and so the question is, well, why, oh, that's crazy. Why would they not pursue that meeting if they know all the goodness that will occur from having that executive conversation? And salespeople that are saying, I'm, I've been burned. I've tried the presentation strategy. I've come in with my slides uh, and the executives haven't responded. So as I've gone through all my ideas, uh, kind of the death by PowerPoint, I know that doesn't work. I don't want to present. And my manager's telling me to just ask more questions. If, if, if I only just engage the executive and just ask questions, then everything will turn out okay. And so I begin the death by questions. So a thousand questions over and over again. And I realize that approach is not working. So I've got to make my quarterly number and I'm going to pursue a different approach. So forget the executive selling. I'm just going to work the departmental opportunity. One of the things we've found is that executives think differently. And, and the principle that we talk about is give to get. So you need to give insight to that executive. What's going on in their industry? What are some things within their business that they might not even be aware of? Their competition. But just having that conversation is not enough. So the give to get will only take you so far. What we find is you need to be provocative. And what do I mean by that? Is, is I think about provocations, it's really uh, testing the current approach. So we feel like you're at risk. We feel like you are underperforming others within your industry. Here's what leads us to believe that and develop that provocation of, of we see a different way. And the idea is that the executive will be skeptical. They'll want you to prove it but yet they'll realize that's a problem that I should be addressing. It's an executive level problem. And I'm interested in seeing if you could actually do what you say you can. And so one of the ways that we find our clients prepare their entire sales team is by building playbooks. So they bring in their best people, their thought leaders, and they capture these insights. They capture these provocations. They capture these customer stories and they build a playbook, a recipe book for how do you lead this executive conversation. But what does it look like to really engage an executive? Uh, one of the tools we found that is extremely compelling is a whiteboard. So as you move in that conversation, standing up and presenting a framework, a model for uh, solving problems through a picture. And it's just amazing the power of a, a visual where an executive will say, no, that, that's not exactly what my world looks like. That's, that's not it. But let me show you kind of here's what it looks like. And as soon as they take the pen, um, you got them. And you know that, that, that they're engaged. And um, you know, from an outcome perspective, uh, you want them to say, oh, this, this, this might work. This might be something I'm interested in. What's the next step? Where do we go from here? And we talk about that executive sponsorship. And what does an executive sponsorship do for you? Well, it gives you time and attention. It lets you build the business case. It lets you put together that solution recommendation that produces those results that you want. So deal sizes go up, sales cycles go down uh, because your salespeople have the confidence. They can get, they can, they have the access to, to the executive. Now they can actually leverage that executive sponsorship for results.